ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் ஹவு டு கனெக்ட் தி மை சீக்வல் வித் ஜே மீட்டர் ஸோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ் அ ஜே டிபிசி கனெக்ஷன் பிட்வீன் மை சீக்வல் அண்ட் ஜே மீட்டர் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் டு வாட்ச் மோர் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் அண்ட் இன்ஃபர்மேட்டிவ் வீடியோ லைக் திஸ் ப்ளீஸ் ஃபீல் ஃப்ரீ டு சப்ஸ்கிரைப் to our channel little sly youtube channel like comment your questions and feedback in the comment section so now let's see how to connect the mysql with the jmeter so we have or we are supposed to follow that through some simple steps so the first step is setting up mysql and we'll have we'll need to have a my sql username and password the required privilege whether it has to be a db admin or with the root admin privilege so for that so here i have the my sql set up already in case if you have a connection from any other machine you will need to collect that particular details to connect the machine so in this example i'm going to just demo you how to communicate or how to connect or how to integrate the jdbc with jmeter so here i have a sample database and under the database i have a table and so i have a sample database which is the test db and then i have a table name which is worker and here are the files or with the values which i have entered here so the first step is i have a root user access to this machine mission or in case if you have a db admin user you are good to proceed so the first step is setting up mysql or the mysql username and password with required privilege so in case if you do really want a separate video on how to set up mysql please do comment in the link i can share you the video of how to set up mysql in your machine so the first step is done and then the second step that is setting up the test plan in jmeter so let's go to the jmeter now so here i have my jmeter open so the first thing is for any test execution we will need a thread group so let me add a thread group so in case if you want to know about multiple thread group types i have a separate videos on the various thread group types please do visit the jmeter tutorials in my little sir youtube channel so now let's move back to the jdbc connection so now i'm going to add a jdbc connection configuration and for that i'll go to add and then to the config element and under the config element i'll open the i'll add the jdbc connection configuration so here we will need to add or we will need to set up the database connection configuration so we will see that in the next step and before that let me add the jdbc request and that comes under the sampler so i'll go to the sampler and then let me add the jdbc request so i've added the jdb jdbc request and then finally let me add a listener which is going to be the view results tree so the next step so this one that is setting up the test plan in jmeter is completed and then the next step is setting up the jar file so the jar file which we have to connect to the jmeter is so in this example i'm using the mysql version so the version which i'm using here is 8.0 so if we are using a version of 8.0 then we will need a similar or a working connector which will connect or which will manage to connect with the latest version so in case if you have 8.0 you will need a connector which is again 8.0 in case if you are using a mysql which is 5.0 then you might you will need a 5.0 so always have a relatively same configuration or a same set of jar file so that will actually help us to connect the mysql with jmeter 
So let's go back and see what version of connector do we need and how and where can we download it. So since I am using the 8.0, so which is exactly 8.0.33, we will need a similar one. So what I'm doing now is I'm searching for a MySQL connector Java, which is 8.0.33 hyphen bin char download. So when I enter this automatically, we'll get a download link from the MySQL. So when I click on this link, so what I'm doing now is I'm clicking on this archived versions link. And then under here, I have the product version, which is 8.0.32, which is the latest version. And then the operating system is going to be Windows. But here under this option, we don't have any operating system that comes under Windows. It shows Ubuntu, Debian, and SUSE, Red Hat, Fedora. And next comes the platform independent. So I'm just choosing the platform independent. I'm just choosing the source code. Okay, let me just click the platform independent. So under the platform independent, I'm choosing the zip archive version and I download this file. And once it is downloaded, I can go back to the zip drive. Let me just refresh it. So under this folder, if I extract it, so once the extraction is completed, we get this MySQL connector J 8.0.32. And we'll have to copy this file and paste it under the library folder. So here, once you paste it, so the next thing we'll have to do is we will need to restart the JMeter. So what I will do now is let me save this file. So I let me, I'm creating a separate folder for this and it's going to be JDBC integration. Let me click on save and let me restart. So this is a basic thing. So every time when we make any changes in the bin or inside the library folder, we will need to restart JMeter. So let's now open the JDBC integration. So now we will configure the script. So the next thing which we have to do is the important one, which is we'll have to name the variable. So the variable name for created pool is going to be my sql or any name which you want you can add it as like rat or cat or anything so mostly it can be my sql so that you can easily identify the jdbc connection and then the next thing is the database url so for the database url it has to be jdbc colon my sql and then the local host since we are running it from a local machine so i'm using it as local host in case if you are executing this from a different machine if you have the ip please add that ip instead of the local host and then the port number will be 3306 so this is the port number which connects jmeter with jdbc or with the mysql and then the database which i'm using is test db and then when coming to the JDBC driver class, I'm going to use com.mysql.jdbc.driver. And then when it comes to username, so I'm using going to use the root username. In case if I have or if you have a DB admin, you can use the DB admin password here. And then let's go back to the JDBC request. So the JDBC request here, we will have to connect the JDBC connection configuration with the JDBC request and for that we will have to give the variable name from the JDBC configuration to the JDBC request and then we have multiple statements so we will see multiple statements in our upcoming videos so for that before that we will start with the first statement which is the select statement so I'm just choosing the select statement and at that I'm giving select star from 
worker so that's a table and we'll have to end with the colon in case if we do not end with the colon we will not get the result let me show you what happens or what the error will come so let's start running this script let me just refresh it and let's run the script and then under the request data so here so we can either have the colon or we can ignore the colon so this is the result of the query that we have used in case if we want to use it for a specific reason say for example in case if we you are using this to extract the OTP and you want to use it in the script you can use you can even add some conditions so for example in this case I'm going to use I just I just want to get details of this particular user so let me go back to the request and I'm going to add a condition which tells like and when, when I run this script automatically I get that particular user's record so this is how we can connect the MySQL with JMeter using this JDBC request. So let's go back to the prerequisites. So what did we do? So this is done and then we have executed the JMeter test. So the first step is setting up MySQL or get or if this MySQL is already set up then you will need to have the username and password with the required privilege and then the next thing is you need to have a database set up with all the records. And then the sec next second step is setting up the test plan in JMeter. So here we have set up the test plan. We have created a thread group. And at the thread group, we have added the JDBC connection configuration. And then we have added a JDBC request. And then we came back. We have set up the jar file. So we have downloaded the latest version since we have using 8.0.33. We are supposed to download the jar file, which has to be 8.0. Then we have pasted the file in the library folder and then once we repasted the library folder we have restarted JMeter before we execute or before we set up the JDBC connection and then after that we have set up the JDBC configuration by giving the database URL and then the JDBC driver class. So we have multiple driver class in case if you want to test a different JDBC we can try that. So for now we have used the mysql.jdbc.driver and then I'm using the root password and then root username and password and after that I will go back to the JDBC request and here we have given the variable name as the variable name of pooled declared in the JDBC connection configuration and then we have given the select statement and once we have given the select statement we executed the test and we have got the result so this is how so this is very simple. So in this way we can connect the JMeter with the MySQL. So I believe this video would be very useful to you. Until we meet in another interesting video, it's bye-bye from Vasan Shanmugam and Little Slaw.